Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the post-game show. Another thrilling, thrilling game, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's today's prop, because this is what the quarterback laid on all over the field of MetLife. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, Kevin, tell me where have we seen this game before? Tell me where have we seen this year I mean, before? What, 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 any, any other year, any other game. It's the same ridiculous nonsense for, for God knows how many years. One after the other. One after the other. Th this team is the epitome of the blind leading the blind. Because it doesn't matter who coaches us, who we bring in, what uniform we're wearing. We look like an inept bunch of, uh, you know, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I mean, I'm 51 years old. I've been watching this team for 45 years, and it's the same goddamn nonsense. Year after year, Sunday after Sunday. Right? Right? Uh, I mean, yeah. I was I if I would have came on, <laughs> I think I messaged you and said, Oh, three interceptions. Can we can we get four? Sure enough. Yeah. I, there came the fourth one. And what do you look at? You're, you're throwing to guys who are triple covered. Meanwhile, your check down in front is running across the field wide open. Yeah, Elijah Moore was wide open on one of those plays. Yeah, yeah okay. I know. I know. You're, holding, you're rolling out. You're holding on to the ball. And I mean, I know the guys. Are, I know the kid's a rookie. But you, so is Mac Jones. But the, but, but, the, but the but the guy knew enough to stay within the game and let it, it that's what the other players are for. This kid like I think he thinks he's Mahomes already. Yeah. Well, I, he I, reads his press coming and as yeah, long yeah, as right, guys, everybody everybody told him he yeah. was. So and as long as guys like Romo and Chris Sims are all and Dara, Daniel Jeremiah are all gonna act like this is the next coming of of, of Mahomes. This is what the kid's going to believe. Because when our coach comes out in the press conference and says, it's okay to have a boring play. Well, why aren't you, t why aren't you coaching this kid to say, you don't have to throw the 50-yard bomb every time. Go to your goddamn checkdowns. But he we kept do doing that it. in street ball. <laughs> we do that and in flag football. We teach our kids in flag football to go to the, 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 the checkdowns. And then when he did go to his checkdowns, he threw it over their head a lot of the time. Oh, and here's another thing. You, you can't tell me there's not, this is not personal with Mims. Because uh, no Mims question, no question, no question. And listen, Elijah Moore might turn out to be a stud, but right now he's not. And Mims is in his second year. Okay, it's only his second year. But the man catches the ball. You can't tell me the more weapons that are out there doesn't make the, the defense, you know, a little weaker. And, 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 and credit to the defense. They, they played a decent game. They played, yeah. good, enough, they played two, good enough to win at home. Two decent games in a row. We kept those, those right. two offenses under 300 yards. That's right. But, you know, but, but, but again, a wasted, useless performance. Kevin, you've been watching football, and I'm just talking about over the last 20 years of Belichick, of what his style of coaching is. And he does it to us like a blueprint. He and, takes and, away our main, he takes away our main weapon, and he lets the schlubs beat try to beat us. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. more reason why we needed to put more weapon. You you say in crowded, all of a sudden his groin got in. What happened? Is groin inflamed up again? He couldn't play. So are we to believe that injuries that happen in Florham Park take longer to heal than if they happen everywhere else? How long is this groin going to last before Crowder gets in the goddamn game? Now, remember, this is a guy who was trade bait, who was talked about as trade bait. So is this another personal thing? It's got to be. I don't know. And listen. I'm sure a lot of Jeff fans like me and you watch SNY this morning before the, the game and watch afterwards. You have three former Jet players all telling you the same thing. If Mims knows the, the position one at the receiver the best, 
figure out how to get him in there. Put Corey at number two, and then you put Elijah in the third spot. Why is this so hard? You mean to tell me he's so bad in practice that Berrios and Vincent and Jeff Smith look better than him? Come on. To to quote Bart Simpson, Mims has to put on his sneakers, and he's already better than half those guys. I, again, just like every year, lately, they leave me speechless. Speechless. I mean, Belichick did it perfect today. Our main weapon, Corey Davis, had one catch for three yards. And he said, okay, you want to beat me? Who? Braxton Berrios. Seven catches for 73 yards. We, they don't fear Berrios. Berrios couldn't make their team, couldn't make their practice squad. He's our main option. This is why we're a joke sometimes. When he's your main guy, other than your number one, holy crap. This holy is why crap. we're – exactly. I'm sorry to interrupt. This is why we're a goddamn joke. And Jet fans get mad. Blah, blah. Get mad all you want. You should be mad. But don't be mad at another Jet fan for speaking his mind. Be mad because we see the same crap year after year. Year after year after year. After year. Man. The and I mean, it, listen, as soon as the game started with the fumble that wasn't. Yeah. Okay. The fumble that was. not Yeah. Oh, you, you know, knew. You knew. You knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be one of those days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, mm-hmm. my God. I don't get. And here's the other thing. You finally activate Keenan Cole. He didn't play one snap. Nope. If he did, nope. I didn't see him. Maybe you did. Did he play a goddamn snap? You activated him. Get him in the goddamn game. I don't know what that is. Barrios uh, punt return. Barrios kick return. Barrios on the side. Barrios over here. Barrios. Who's Barrios sleeping with? <laughs> because you oh, shit. tell me when Listen, Belichick. I, I, I got to laugh because it's the, it, it's the same joke over again. Yeah, it's deja vu. The same joke over again. And here you are. Here you are sitting here at 0-2. Yeah. Again, 0-2. 0-2. And you know what, Kevin? We said it, and I said it a lot. We wanted to see progress from game to game. Well, this was a step back. And This was a step back. And now you're going to Denver. Oh, yeah. Who just won their second game, and now it's their home opener. Mm Mm-hmm. And listen, New England and New England's defense didn't do anything. They didn't show the no, sink at no. you. No, listen, listen, guys were running wide open. You were missing them. My God, they only rushed four guys, and you could control them. What are you going to do with this Denver defense? I mean, you had everywhere. You had, he had a great game, Zach thrown to, throw to the other team. Yeah, oh, he's perfect at that. Yeah, five interceptions already in two games. I mean. The one, it might, it might have been the, the third one or the fourth one. You looked right at him and threw it right to him. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. looked right at him and threw it at him. <laughs> and and here, was the, here was the one game that everyone in the league knows that Belichick takes away your go-to guy. Yes. You need to put every guy out there so he couldn't take away your one guy. They weren't worried about Braxton. And, and, and Kevin, it shows you they weren't worried about our running game because we ran for 150 yards. Right. Mm-hmm. Big deal. We ran for 150 yards with no TDs. Because they knew, no, they knew nobody else was going to beat you. Oh, my Lord. It's not like we had 150 yards and two scores where you at least put them back on their heels. Right. So, I mean... I don't, hey. So why isn't Mims and, and, and Keenan Cole getting more? I, I don't get it. I, I could scream from the rooftops, Kevin, and yet there'll be some Jet fans saying, patience. I get it. We've all said patience. This is a young team. But this is 45 no, years of listen, goddamn patience. What was Cologne saying? The, the, the same thing. He was yeah. saying the same thing on the post game. The same thing. Yeah. Jet fans should be pissed enough with this patience. We've seen this story. We saw this movie. It doesn't have a happy ending. I mean, I, I'm for, like I said, during the game, if, if we would have came on, oh, my God. But, like, here I am at the end. Of, this freaking team drains you. It yeah. drains you. Yeah. It, it zaps yeah. you of freaking energy. 
it, it really does. It's yeah. like, holy crap. Yeah. It's like it's like watching a horrible freaking movie over and yeah. over and over again. Yeah. And, and I, I don't know about you. It might be just my personality. It gets me to the point where I get I get snappy, like little things like my yeah. son will ask me and I snap at him and I shouldn't. I shouldn't let this team aggravate me so much that I'm snapping at other people. But it's this disgusting to watch this week after week and know the story. Like I, as soon as that first play happened, where they they blew the whistle too quick, I'm thinking we're already cheating. We're already helping the Patriots out. Yeah. That was a pretty. That, that was one of the fastest whistles I've ever seen. Oh my lord! And it was so obvious it was a fumble, and we recovered yeah. it. Yep. And they yep. It. yep. It was, oh uh, my god! You know, someone's got to be looked into that one play. Like that was a little too quick on that whistle. You would have had the momentum right off the bat. Of course, MetLife would have been rocking it. No, you know, no, no. You know, and I can guarantee you this sold out stadium today. I'm going to assume 70% wanted Donald out of here, but those are probably the same 70% who were booing Zach Wilson in the start of the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. I, th I think I shot you a message. I said he's getting booed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They said it on national TV. Hall and said, and they're booing here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How'd Sam do today? Awesome. Well, um, I can't, he, first of all, uh -huh. when you beat the Saints, I don't I don't understand the Saints had seven players out today. He manhandled the Saints. It was 17-0 at the end of the third quarter. The kid almost threw for three 300 yards. I think he was 28 for 36, Whoa. two touchdowns and one interception. They said the Pats' best defense defensive back was out today, right? The, for the Saints, you mean? No, on our game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so why can't you? Why can't why can't you exploit a defense like another? Yeah. Uh, uh, you, I, I I don't understand. You want to know why? Because you brought in five wide receivers, but you want to play one wide receiver and two small fries. I don't mean to make fun of them. I mean they're they're they're, they're NFL players. But when you have a 6'3 receiver in MIM, 6'3, 6'2, and you don't even the 40 act, you don't 4'3, even, who can take even, the top off of things, and you're sitting him down because he doesn't know slot two and three. And you don't even activate him. My God. You know what? If he doesn't know those slots, then you guys should sit with him and go extra work with him. But then get him in the game. If he's best in, in, in position one, let him play that and coach him up for two and three and get him acclimated. That's like saying, I mean, not that, not that he is the same type of player, but if, if like Moss didn't know all the, you know, the Randy Moss back yeah. there or, or Rice didn't know all the slot yeah. positions. Or something, let's not activate him. Yeah. Let's sit him out because Vincent uh, Smith knows all of them. I mean, yeah. let's not let's not compare apples and oranges here. But I mean, holy holy crap! You're never not gonna you're gonna know what you got if he's not a, even active, not playing. You, you have a potential weapon. See what you got. See, and, and and you know what? Here's the other thing, Kevin. If we're all convinced that this year is the throwaway year because we're all learning these all know, then let him learn on the field. If we're willing to let Zach Wilson take his lumps on the field, let Mims take his lumps on the field. Let Mims I, take his lumps on the field. We're not winning any Super Bowls with Berrios as our, our second option. And I mean, I, I don't buy that this is a throwaway. No, no year should be a throwaway year. What kind of freaking attitude is that? I mean, you, no. the, the idea is, is to win the Super Bowl. Well, no matter I, what year it is. No, and I listen. mean, the fact that these guys, this guy, this kid had a, a four interception game and the coaches of that. And to listen to him, I mean, I, I like Salah. Okay. But to listen to him and he's like, it's no big yeah. deal. It was almost like it was no big deal. Yeah. They, you know, I, these coaches <laughs> have to prepare for the New York media because yeah, sometimes they ask the stupidest of questions, but they are relentless and they're ruthless and they're going to come after you. And they're going to come after you. Uh, you know? I, I, it I leaves mean, us. Our, our, our quarterback now in two games has been hit 21 times and sacked 10 times. And 10 let me times. tell you something, Kevin. Now we're going to play a team 
that has a better defense than the first two teams yep. we saw. Yep, yep, got a relentless defensive yeah. front. Yeah, and how loud is it going to be in Denver for their home opener that they're 2-0, and which, Kevin, if we could go back now and pick the games from week three on, I don't think this Jet team is winning more than three games. I had them beating Denver. I don't anymore. Mm-hmm. I had this Jet team beating the Eagles. I see, see, I see the Eagles doing what I wanted us to do, improve every week. The Eagles gave the 49ers a run for their money What today. did we say? Be competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Four interceptions isn't competitive. No. They, you don't. No. Stand a, a chance in hell of no. winning a game, turning the ball over four times. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're asking me right now, we're probably the worst team again in the league. No, oh, yeah. I hate to well, say I it. mean, again, I, I, the defense showed me something today, okay? But that's about it. That's the only one that showed me something. The defense played yeah. well enough to win the game. Yeah. Hey, can you blame the, I mean, can you really give the defense a hard time where they gave up 16 points off of four turnovers? No. You really no. can't. I mean, what was the final score? And, and you got to remember 16 points came yeah. off the of turnovers. So, yeah. You know, yeah. they kept you, they kept you in the game. This, yeah. this score could have been 45 to three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You know, or 45 I, I, to six. I, I don't know what to say anymore. I, I, I mean, you got you got Mac Jones, his completion th- to percentage was 73%. Zach Wilson, 57.6. The passing yards, Mac Jones, 150. Zach Wilson, 210. You think 210, he must have thrown at least one or two touchdown passes. <laughs> Nothing, never touched the end zone. Four friggin' interceptions. Imagine if the Pats didn't have a rookie quarterback today. Imagine if it had been Brady or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, 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 Kevin, I, I tell you, I'm almost kicking. And listen, he's probably playing well because of this system, but you almost have to be kicking yourself that he's not our quarterback. He just looks so poised, Kevin. He, I hate to give New England any credit. I, You know, that team well, I dislike, but he's just so poised in the pocket. Everything looks smooth, and, and all guys the happy feet running around like chickens without a head. He, he's got – it's like he has the maturity already to know that – listen – I got all these guys around me. All I got to do is stay within the game, you yeah. know, and not and not do anything stupid. Mm-hmm. Unlike our guy who thinks he's got a a freaking red cape on with an S on it. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you're missing wide open receivers on the check on the check down. The idea yeah. is to move the chains. And listen. It's Can, did, did anybody tell him that during the during the game? I mean, because you kept doing it. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, maybe Lafleur is not the offensive genius we thought we were getting. I don't know. I don't and know. I mean, that, the fourth and one. What are you doing? Another play was, it was like, a, here you go, hand it off again. Here, it is. down at the goal line, down at the goal line, when they had to settle for the three. Yeah. Okay. On third down, can you do it? Can you do a freaking like a bootleg out and have the whole left side was wide open? Mm-hmm. He could he could have done a play action fake and just ran all around on a bootleg. He could have ran it right in. There's yeah. no, no creativity whatsoever. Oh my god! Again, and I, 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 as well as the defense played. I mean, uh, you're getting burned on a on a double reverse flea flicker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, they came out vanilla. There's no excitement to this offense. You know, if we're a team that is just building and the fan base knows we're building and we think or we know we're not a playoff team, then let's be excited. Let's do a flea flicker. Let's do a double revert. Let's do something to put that other team on the other side on their heels. And we've done none of that. We have potentially five wide receivers, and we're seeing Braxton Berrios as our leading receiver against yeah, our yeah, yeah. mortal enemy. 
Because you don't want to play look, Mims because he doesn't know the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I, eighth. What? I don't believe that for a second. Ah. Uh, no, let me tell you something. If there's, Crowder, something, there's something going on there. Yeah, they don't like him. He's not yeah. one of theirs. Right. I agree with Willie Colon and Bart Scott. And the, he's not one of theirs. They didn't bring him in. He wasn't their draft. They don't like him. Insane. He doesn't play special teams. Big deal. I could be wrong. Someone correct me. No one ever does. So I must be right with it. Did Lynn Swan play special teams? Did Rice play special teams? When did your number two receiver that you drafted in the second round need to play special teams? Did John Taylor play special teams? You know, oh, we could go on. I don't remember on on. seeing Wesley Walls on, I mean, Wesley Walker on special yeah. teams. Maybe he was. I was young back then. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Berrios is a special teams guy. He should be right. playing special. Right. Mims is your 6'3 prototypical receiver. How nice does he look on the opposite side of Corey Davis with your slot receivers, Crowder or, 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 or Elijah Moore, and you're not playing him? Come on. It, 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 there's something. Some, something's not right in the state of Jersey or in Florham nope. Park right nope. now. Yeah, I don't know Florham what Park. it is. I don't know what it is. So. Here we go. Here we are. Again. Read out the numbers, but big freaking deal. The Jeff fans yeah, know the numbers. What does it, what does, and what difference does it make? Yeah. You, you know, the, the only number that counts is the one on the scoreboard when there's no, no time. No, exactly. Left. And you know, next time we have a guest on, I, I like to pose the question to whoever our guest is. If I tell you my team rushed for 150 yards, did we win or lose the game? I would say eight out of our 10 guests would say, no, you guys won the game. 150 yards, we had no rushing touchdowns. 210 passing yards, we had no touchdowns. Three field goals, and we missed one. We couldn't even make that one. Yeah. Now I understand it was a 50-yard, 49-yard field goal, whatever the hell it was. We couldn't All even right, make but, that. But, but come on. When it rains, it pours, I guess, right? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, you know. And listen, someone's gonna someone's gonna find the silver lining, and maybe it was the defensive line today. Maybe it was Mosley playing out of his skin today. Marcus May playing out of his skin today. Maybe it is the defense. Maybe finally. But here's the one thing I'm going to say about the defense. All for all for not. Yeah. But here's the one thing I'm going to say about the defense. Which Williams brother's name got called today? Quincy's did because Quinnen was nowhere to be found and I keep yelling and screaming for Quinnen Williams to put on his big boy pants and play a game and we got none of that we got John, Jonathan Franklin Myers thank God for him yep. Sheldon Rankins played well today yep. Marcus yep. May had a sack and we yep. heard bull from Quinnen did Quinnen even have a hit on the quarterback Nothing. you never heard his name meanwhile his brother had the best hit of the game Oh boy! I, I mean, I, I don't listen. I don't even know what to say anymore. Jet fans were worried well, about bringing a punter, Morstad. He hit a forty-five yard bomb, and, and, you know, on the punt, and we were worried about this. Is the kid you're worried about that because they're bringing a thirteen year old vet, thirteen year season yeah. vet? You're worried yeah. about the punter? Please, we got other so, fish to fry. Here, here we are, headed to Denver. Yeah, and headed to zero three. Yeah. And then coming back from Denver on a short week to travel off to London, right? I believe week four, we're at London. I don't have the schedule in front of me. You know, and Atlanta might not be as easy as we think. We could come home from London all went four with our tail between our legs. And then when is the wind coming? Yeah. Then when is the wind coming? Don't know. Don't because know. it might not come to week 13 when you play Jacksonville. Yeah. If you even beat them. <laughs> I gave this team six wins, and I got to tell you, the Denver game, maybe maybe I'm just hot right now. I'll need a few days when we do our full show next week. I'll calm down and tell you why I think we're going to win. But I, I don't see us beating them. I thought we were going to beat the oh. Eagles. I don't see – I see the Eagles doing what they're supposed to do every week. They gave the 49ers a run for their money. Now, I understand the 49ers travel from the West. That score was 17-11. They were in the game. That's right. Now, I'll look right. up the numbers and see if it was a closer game than whatever. We were never in this game, Kevin. Compete. In the, compete. And four, I did. You, he wasn't even – this quarterback wasn't even competing today. No. No. 
No. I, he was just <laughs> out there. He was just out there whipping the ball. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the one where you had Croft coming across the field. Okay? I think it was Croft. Okay? You had him wide open. You, well, you hit him in the middle of the field so he, he could have probably – Yep, and he didn't. You, he wait, you, got, yep. you waited until he went all the way over to the sideline, yep. and then you threw him the ball. Yep. So he had and, no choice but to go out of bounds. Yeah, and you see, you're I saying mean, – It's just you're not thinking. You're not yeah, thinking. Exactly. And you're saying that, and that was, was one of the plays they brought up on the post-game show where you had a chance for him to turn up the field, and you waited a second or two too long. Uh, yeah. oh, it was like three seconds. Yeah. You, uh, I, what yeah, are you? What are you doing? Your head's not in the game. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. And again, Piron inactive, Adams inactive. You know, like I got Tevon Coleman had what five carries for twenty four yards. Not bad. I don't want to see Tevon Coleman. I was happy with uh, Ty Johnson, Johnson and Michael yep, Carter. Yep, yep. Ty Johnson twelve carries fifty yards. Michael Carter played like a beast. Carter's you, you a would beast. Say in I was small, he didn't play small today. No, no, 11 he played, carries, he played, 59. Yeah. He played like Chris carries, Ivory, who, who I mentioned last week. A couple yeah. of nice catches, yes. He didn't play small today. You know, they must have heard you because those <laughs> two look big today. But, you know, what? can we see what P. Ryan is about? Can we see what Adams is about? Oh, uh, you know what, Kevin? I'm done for today. I, we can do this for 10 hours, and, and I, I can't anymore. I, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, they 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 drain you. This team drains you. Yeah, their play drains you. Their games drain you. Yeah, they zap you of 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 energy, of happiness, of everything. They it, it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a shit show. Yeah, <laughs> and, and let me tell you something, Kevin. At zero and two already. We're already 50% of the way there. I've never hearing our name mentioned on any more of the football talk shows. Because why do you want to talk about? What is it to talk about? It's the same story. We've heard this story. We've heard this story. Now, I, I feel like now, after we played today, I owe the lady on ESP an apology for, making, to, for saying the best player last week was the punter, even though she was wrong. I owe her an apology because it's the same crap. What, is, what, is these, what are they going to come on the talk football shows tomorrow and say? No one's going to give credit to the defense that they played well because technically we still lost 25 6. They're going to say S O J. Yeah. That's what they're going to say. Yeah. Yeah. And for you novices, and for you novices, that stands for same old Jets. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, th this is week two. I'm ready to put the bag over my head with the yeah, yeah, just yeah, end yeah. the season. Just yeah. end the season. Yeah. Because you know, Barring a miracle, you, you, you're going 0 and 3. Yeah. And I don't want to keep hearing because we, we've heard this line for uh, forever. We'll clean it up. We did some nice things. We'll get it we'll corrected. Watch, we'll, we'll, watch clean the tape. It up. we'll come in. We'll watch the tape. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we talk about, you know, progressing, get better every week. We had more penalties this week than we did last week. You went, you went, you went yeah. backwards. Yeah, yeah. You, th you threw it in reverse and nailed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We said this team needed to come out of the, 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 the clubhouse, fired up, and punch someone in the mouth. And second play – and listen, even though we got that bad call, we got off the field on their first possession, and what do we do? First play, boom, eight yards. I'm like, oh, the running game. This feels different. I said it. I looked to my, my son and said – this feels different. And then the second pass, interception. Then we come out our second possession. And and two, we run. two plays later, yeah. interception. Second possession, we run first down. Michael Carter, 12 yards. I'm like, feed the kid. Just keep feeding the kid. And the second play on that, the second, another interception. The third one was completely inexcusable. Inexcusable, 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 inexcusable. Yeah. What, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I'm at a loss. I'm stuttering. You know, here. I don't it's, know it's a long, it's a long way from pro day, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm closing the book. Kev. For me, I'm done. The numbers yeah. don't mean crap. Yeah, yeah. listen, the, listen. The defense I, played well, fine, la, la, la. We still like lost I, five, six. Like I said to you, middle of the first quarter, after the second interception, Yeah, I stopped taking notes. Yeah, I know, I know. And Kevin, if I would have took notes. Why, every why, little, yeah, why? Yeah, you're right. And Kevin, if I would have took notes for every little thing I want, I never would have looked up from the, the screen because I'd be writing all goddamn day because yeah. it just felt like mistake after mistake after mistake or botched up. I don't. I sometimes don't even know what I'm watching anymore. There's, there's, it, it, it's another freaking Sunday afternoon. Another sick to your stomach feeling. Yeah. Another, a, a, another, another long freaking week before you get to go out next Sunday and get your ass kicked again. Yeah. So. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say anymore as a Jeff fan. What is my hope for next week? Like, it's almost a cop out to say, oh, I just want to be in the game. This is what I'm looking <laughs> forward to, just to be in the game. And not only that, but I got family coming in this week. I got to watch the game with them. <laughs> That's killing me as it is. Now I have to deal with... Them looking at me going, this is your team. <laughs> like I said, when all you're doing is stacking up these. Yeah. Instead of these. It's going to be a long damn year. You know, before. before once were... again. Once again. Going to be yeah. a long damn year. Before we wrap this up, they put up a stat at the end of the first quarter. I don't know if you caught it. When Belichick has a 10 point lead after the first quarter, mm-hmm. he's mm-hmm. 19 and 0. Yeah, I saw it. Now, that's a hard, that's a hard thing to do. Like, you know, to be up 19 and sure. 0. Sure. Because 10 points after the first quarter, if you're a good team, that's still in reach. That's still good. He's 19 and 0. We haven't won 19 games in the in the last five years. No. I could be wrong, but I, I right? We were two. No, yeah, yeah. no two you're right. Yeah. Seven the year before, and then four and five before that, I believe, right? I think that adds up to 18 wins. I think it was you who shot me the message with one word. Disgusting. Disgusting. That's the new word for the Jets. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what did I say last weekend? Or a couple of days ago, I said, if you come out Sunday in your home opener against a division rival as a five and a half point dog and you lay an egg, you got problems. Yeah. 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 Agree. Agree. And you you can put it all on the quarterback. I know. Listen, it is all on the quarterback, but you know, that's another thing. I think maybe our head's a little too big. You know, we think like who we are already, well, and, we're, and we're nobody. Yeah, well, when Chris Sims and Romo and Daniel Jeremiah and Aaron Rodgers all, you know, speak highly of you, why shouldn't you have to be? Listen, if those guys spoke highly of me, you couldn't get my head through the door. All right, I guess. So, I guess. you know, uh, yeah. Too bad they didn't tell you to check down to your receivers that are running wide open yeah. and try to instead of trying to force it into triple exactly. coverage. <laughs> exactly. And what's not know. Make, <laughs> and I don't, have, the, I don't me, know what else to say. Yeah, let me be the one to say it and everyone could send the hate mail. Meanwhile, the man we couldn't wait to get out of here because, yeah, he didn't play well with us. Now with weapons and an O-line is 2-0, and and he beat the Saints, who – we all agree is a pretty decent team, right? A play of a drill. And, and not and only he, single, he beat them easy today. That whole team beat them easy today. Yeah, I heard he looked good today. He looked great today. 28, 28 for 38. I think he was a 28 for 36, close to 300 yards, two TDs, and an interception. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I know I'll get the hate mail, and that's fine. Yeah, come on. Yep. All right, <laughs> brother. Uh all right. I don't know I what gotta, else. If you have more, I'm no, going to listen, What the I, hell am I going to go? What the yeah. hell? I, I'm going to go eat and throw up. That's what yeah, I'm going to do. Exactly. Exactly. Another Sunday night ruin. Yeah. I'm so glad the Ravens Sheeps <laughs> game is on and we get to see what real football looks like. Exactly. For three and a half hours. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. All right, man. All right. Yep. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Jet Nation. Tell us the, your thoughts, please. The more the more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah. Please, right? someone tell us your thoughts. 
give us some hindsight. Tell us there's a light at the end of the tunnel because right now I'm not seeing any light. And I'm not talking about this year. I don't see a light at all. The light has gone out and we're going to be the new laughing stock for 10 or 15 more years to come. I, I can't see anything positive. I'm sorry. You want to talk us off the ledge? Comment below. Yeah, please. Please. I Otherwise, told you I'm going to need someone to talk me off the ledge. <laughs> Otherwise, right, we'll talk to you next week yeah. and jet up. Jet up. <laughs> talk to you later. All right, bro.